I want to wish you a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day. Here's what I've written in the past about St. Patrick's Day and our spiritual guide to the year, day by day. Here's an Irish blessing. As you slide down the banister of life, may there be no splinters pointing in the wrong way. Sometimes the splinters of life are pointed in the wrong way, and when they are, our purpose in life is to go beyond being a victim, to being a victor. Author Harold Smith wrote this, that Patrick is a patron saint of the Irish is an unlikely development. In the 5th century, Patrick was captured by pirates and then taken to Northern Ireland and sold into slavery. After six years of slavery, Patrick escaped, and he swore that he'd never go back to Ireland again. But God had other plans. Patrick heard the call of God to go back to Ireland, and not as a slave, but as a missionary. Through his preaching and powerful influence, he started hundreds of churches, he baptized a hundred thousand converts, and eventually became the patron saint of the Irish. He used his experience as a slave in Ireland not to become bitter, but to become better better equipped to serve God. He could not control what happened to him, but he could control how he responded to what happened to him. Without God's influence, St. Patrick's life, well, without God's influence, he would have remained a slave in captive lifestyle all of his life long. In his mind, at least, even though his body escaped from oppression. God will often influence you to go in an opposite way that your human mind tells you to go. And yet, it is precisely the path to take towards a better life instead of a bitter life. None of us want a bitter life, and yet so many people live this way. The woe is me attitude is useless, unnecessary suffering. And this type of thinking blocks the divine ideas. The mind, like an oyster shell, closes in upon itself. It tells itself that this is self-protection, but it is the reverse. The mind can remain locked for a lifetime to old ideas that never worked in the first place. The mind is often, well, it often has a harder time moving on than the body does. Sometimes the body has to take the mind to places that it would rather not go. Life is movement in both mind and in body. Stagnation is like a death. Great things can be achieved when you allow the wisdom of God from above to work within the wisdom from below. The impossible is possible with God. Again, my dear friend, happy St. Patrick's Day.